Hello and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's very short review for Very Short Treks. So the Very Short Treks is a series of shorts released to StarTrek.com and also posted on YouTube of uh, animated shorts uh, in the Star Trek universe uh, meant to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, the original series. There are five of them, uh, each around three to four minutes long. Um... And yeah, they're they're sort of done in a comedy style, and I've heard a lot of people sort of complain about particularly the first three episodes. Uh, so let's start with the first one, Skin a Cat. I actually really liked this. I thought it was really funny. Um, it got it just got more ridiculous because whenever Kirk or not Kirk it was actually some random captain. I thought it was Kirk at first, but kind of looks like him. But anyway, random captain. Uh, would s mention a figure of speech and it would end up offending someone. It started off with the skin of a cat, which offended him in rest, and then, you know, he said fish to fry, and there's a first person and whatnot, and then it got ridiculous when he said, I'm a dumbass, and I screwed up, and there's a screw guy, and a guy with an ass on his face, <laughs> which is, it would have started getting ridiculous, and then he, he realized that people were conjuring up out of nowhere whenever he said something, so he said so he went on his reign about a, a, beauty, a human woman who loves him, and blah, 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 and then she turns up, and he gets down on one knee, he's like, will you marry me, and then the ship explodes. <laughs> I thought that that was funny. Now, I know some people had issues with it because it could be seen as, you know, the conservative talking point of, oh, people are offended too easily. Um, but I think they're only looking at it in its context. If it came out like 10, 15 years ago, people wouldn't be thinking about it in those terms. And I don't really think it's a commentary on that personally. I think it's just meant to be a bit of fun and ridiculous, which is exactly what it is. Uh, so I actually did find that humorous is actually one of my favorite ones. Uh, the next one is holiday party. I think a lot of people had an issue with this one as well. I kind of liked it again. Again, this is a set in Strange New World, and the Spock is giving a having a speech about First Contact Day, and he tries to be humorous to disastrous results. He shows a blooper reel, which is of people getting horribly killed, and uh, and then one of the uh bloopers was like his uh, to bring breaking up with him and him crying and he's like it is funny is it not because it is self-deprecating uh and then everyone like starts crying and freaking out and uh eventually you know they tried to explain it to him what a blooper actually is and so then he shows a a, a blooper of some guy who running to the bathroom has diarrhea and slipping on the floor and then hitting hit, <laughs> and hitting getting hit in the nuts and falling down and farting and it, everyone laughed at that it's like oh yes it is funny because he got hit in the genitals and farted but did not die <laughs> like i like this one wasn't the best i thought it was okay I, I thought it was moderately funny uh it was it was okay um i didn't really have that big of an issue with it now the next one uh worst contact was definitely my least favorite and a lot of other people hated this one as well is when uh Riker and Crusher make first contact with the species that in, uh, just invented warp drive and they turn out to be completely disgusting and repulsive like they sm smother the boogers all over the wall they eat like this disgusting fried fish thing and and like put their boogers on it for extra sauce and then they're so disgusted by them that Riker um destroys their warp drive and leaves I didn't I don't like disgusting humor like this this is like 12 year old humor which I've never been really into. And plus, this one I think was actually anti-Star Trek. I, the first two were accused of being anti-Star Trek, which I don't agree with. This one I absolutely think it was. Um, because uh, I know it was supposed to be funny. And it's supposed to be like tongue-in-cheek and not really... They said specifically these are not canon. But still, it seemed really... Um, 
ill-spirited it, not in the spirit of Star Trek to Riker f- f- to destroy the warp drive and then take off just because they're disgusting. I, yeah. <laughs> so this one I did not like. Uh, now the next one is called Holograms All the Way Down. This is by far the most popular. It's the highest rated on IMDb. And while I did like this one, I don't think it was quite as good as everyone's claiming it to be. And to be honest, I think I like the first one with all the idioms better than this one. Um, because this one is just the same joke over and over and over and over again. It's just, um, and it starts off with Enterprise, and then Riker says free program, sort of making a reference to these are the voyages, but then someone else from a different show, oh yeah, they have Quark with Garrick from Deep Space Nine, says so computer freeze program, then they have Lower Decker say computer freeze program, then they have Prodigy guys say computer freeze program, and then they like rapid fire uh, <laughs> a bunch of different people from different shows saying computer freeze program until they get to uh, Neelix finally saying a freeze hollow novel and then goes to bed and then there's like this weird blob of like five different characters saying what's going on it's, that one was a bit it got a bit weird towards the end and abstract and not in the way I found particularly funny but I I do like the I liked all the cameos. It's great seeing a prodigy. At least they're freaking acknowledging that prodigy exists. Of course, it's written by the prodigy writers, so that would be why. But still, um, it was it was kind of funny at first. It was making fun of that trope of you know the them showing you a holodeck program that turns out that you think it's real, but it turns out to be a holodeck program when someone says computer freeze program, but they just repeat it and go overboard with it. But as I said, it's just one joke over and over again. So yeah, I like this one, but I don't think it's as great as everyone else is uh, claiming it to be. Uh, so the last one is called Walk Don't Run, and this is the one where they actually... Uh, break the fourth wall and um, really, you know, talk out of universe where they have Tendi saying, I'm Tendi from Lower Decks, and here's the, you know, Scotty and all these other people from Star Trek the Animated Series, which aired 50 years ago, blah, 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 but then they get into an argument of which uh, show is better because Scotty thinks, you know, doesn't like, again, it's kind of similar to the first one where she, he doesn't like the phrase Tendi uses and starts arguing. Uh, with each other uh, about it, and it breaks out into the full argument of which show is better until Riker and Sulu show up, and I was like, hey, we're all here to love each other and get along, and they all sing a song, and they sing a song, and they get along together, and then the ship is attacked by me. <laughs> Klingons. Uh, I don't know if they implied it, it blew up, but again, that's kind of repeating the same gag from the first episode, but still, I like this one. Um, I, I thought this one was a bit more clever. This one might be my favorite, actually, of the bunch. And this was featured a musical number, and the musical composition wasn't the best. Uh, but I actually think this is way better than the Strange New Worlds musical episode. And it made me realize that Star Trek could have done a musical episode well. Is this the fact that Strange New Worlds tried to be too much like Glee or some modern pop song when they did like the, you know, the whatchamacallit, the voice synthesizer or whatever that all pop music has. And the songs weren't particularly good. The stories around them weren't particularly good. Well, here, it, like, you, I got into the song, even though the song wasn't well-constructed. The spirit of it, like, the characters of it, like, the the part of them, hey, let's all these characters get along and celebrate how great Star Trek is, is something I was like, yeah, I got on board with even more so than that gr- grand finale song in the Strange New Worlds musical episode when they all got along about this is why we do the ship or whatever it was um this one was better this one short track was better than that uh, musical episode and i think the musical episode of star trek could work if it was done more like this and less like trying to be like glee but that's just my humble opinion anyway that's it. Those those are my very short, and <laughs> not too short, but those are my short feelings on very short treks. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.